So this is once again one of those really cool discoveries that at the moment has no good explanation. Yet another mysterious radio signal coming from somewhere in our galaxy and pointed directly at planet Earth. But unlike previous radio signals that usually have at least some explanation, in this case this one is really really difficult to explain because current physical models seem to contradict what we're observing. So hello wonderful person, this is Anton. And today we're going to be discussing a discovery of yet another periodic radio signal that was discovered completely by accident in some of the older radio data, and a signal that was apparently in that data for at least 33 years, possibly even longer. But because nobody ever bothered to check, and there was really no reason to check, as I'll explain to you in a few minutes, it remained invisible to us up until recently. As you can see, this is about 15,000 light years away from us in the constellation of Scutum. And what makes this particular radio signal super intriguing is the fact that it seems to repeat approximately every 21 minutes. And so every 21 minutes or so, it seems to emit radio bursts for approximately 5 minutes, then stops and repeats it again 21 minutes later. But surprisingly, when scientists behind the study analyzed previous radio data pointed at this location, they actually discovered that it was doing this for a very, very, very long time. With all of this data going back several decades, and the first official signal identified all the way back in 1988, and that is actually kind of impressive. This would make it one of the oldest persistent radio signals ever discovered. Obviously not the oldest, some of the pulsars have been doing this for much longer, but definitely something really impressive. But it was the more recent observations from the Australian telescopes and specifically the Murchison Widefield Array that you see right here, that contains these large areas of very small radio antenna, that was able to measure the signal directly, identifying certain properties that made this extremely strange. And so let's actually talk about why this is strange and why it currently has no explanation. Although here, it's important to mention why scientists behind the study wanted, wanted to even look for this, because nobody ever bothered before. We've talked about this a few years back, and I think there's a video somewhere in the description about this. But back in 2020, by looking at the older data, a very unusual radio signal was identified approximately 4,000 light years away from us. This signal was repeating every 18 minutes, lasting approximately a minute in total, but back in 2020, for some reason, this signal disappeared and was no longer observable anywhere. But based on what we've received so far, it became clear that the light here was extremely twisted, or very polarized, as if it was coming from an extremely magnetic environment. With the conclusion here being that maybe this is some kind of a really, really strange magnetar that we've never seen before an extremely slow spinning magnetar that seems to rotate once every 18 minutes. But because it now disappeared and because it no longer emitted any radio signals, it was difficult to explain both its existence and why it's now so quiet. So in other words, this kind of appeared, disappeared and was no longer heard. And so the main point behind this new study was to try to discover other additional signals, very similar to this one, in order to actually understand what might have happened here. And completely by accident, they discovered this new signal. This one did not disappear and has been doing so for over 30 years. And once again, this signal seems to be twisted or polarized, suggesting similar magnetic environments or basically some kind of a magnetar. The signal is now referred to as GPM G1839-10. But knowing what we know about magnetars and how they produce various jets and also how they produce radio emissions, none of this currently makes sense. And this kind of relates to the concept known as the death line for radio waves produced by magnetars. It's a type of a threshold where if a star's magnetic field is too weak, it should not actually generate any radio signals. Which is why most magnetars do not produce radio waves, or in some cases produce very weak radio waves. And in this case, this is one of the slowest spinning magnetars ever discovered. So basically here, it shouldn't actually produce anything. It's definitely below this threshold. And so because of its really slow spin, it's expected to be completely quiet. Which is actually what the theory predicts, and why we've never seen very slow spinning magnetars prior to this. And so assuming this is magnetar, it should really not be possible to detect these radio waves. Especially because the radio waves coming from this are way stronger than anything we've imagined. So every 21 minutes, these pulses are pretty strong. Actually as strong as what we expect from a typical pulsar. And so whatever is causing this, currently has no mechanism to explain anything here. And because this goes beyond theoretical predictions, this is why nobody ever even bothered to look for these objects in any of the data. 
which is why it remained invisible for over 30 years. Now the obvious question here is, well, can it be something else? Can it be maybe artificial? Can it be aliens? Not really. Even this image alone kind of shows you that a lot of these signals are very hectic, very chaotic, and do not have any particular pattern or anything artificial in them. They do appear very natural. The observations so far basically resemble a typical pulsar, just kind of in slow motion, pulsating very, very slow. A regular pulsar would be doing this at least several times per second, sometimes even several hundred times per second. Some pulsars are very fast. And so this is like thousands and thousands of times slower. And so if this is a magnetar, it really kind of defies all the explanations and all of the physical concepts we currently have. So maybe this is some kind of an unconfirmed, unusual type of star we've never seen before. If so, it's not really clear what this is. Now previous explanations about the previously discovered object from a few years back, apart from a magnetar, proposed another explanation. Maybe this was actually a strange and never before seen white dwarf. A pulsating white dwarf that was producing very powerful radio emissions, and in this case using a slightly different mechanism. Now if this is a white dwarf, it would be basically the second one ever discovered doing this in such a way, but even here the explanations would still require additional physics that we currently do not have. Why is it so powerful? How is it able to do so so regularly and with such a power that it's visible from 15,000 light years away? And more importantly, why do other white dwarfs not do the same? On top of this, it seems to actually spin quite regularly, and the observations suggest that it's not really slowing down very much, and it's essentially doing everything we kind of expect from a typical pulsating radio object. And because several different telescopes were able to confirm its existence and exactly what we're observing here, at the moment, it seems to be pretty clear that it's there, and unlike previous discoveries from magnetars, which sometimes actually stop their emissions after a few years, this one just keeps going. So yeah, what exactly is this? What exactly did the team behind this just discover? Well, whatever this is, it's going to be super exciting to talk about this in some of the future videos. As I mentioned in some of the previous videos, we've basically now entered the golden age of radio astronomy. There's a tremendous amount of new discoveries, most of them completely unexplained and have just been discovered in the last couple of years, and the vast majority right now are basically showing us the entire universe in a way we've never seen it before. You can check out some of these radio discoveries in the description below. Here we're talking about things like orcs or odd radio circles. We're of course also talking about fast radio bursts or the most recently discovered Sauron. Yeah, a lot of them have been given really cool fantasy names. And now we have another edition. It doesn't have a cool name yet, but definitely deserves one. But all of these incredible new discoveries are actually all the result of a sudden explosion of additional radio observatories across the entire planet especially really large ones in South Africa, a lot of them in Australia, with the biggest dish currently being in China. All of this was actually completed in the last few years, with more being built even right now, and so we're only going to be getting more mysteries and more unusual discoveries in the next few years. So yeah, lots of new stuff to talk about and lots of stuff to speculate about. So if you actually want to learn more about these objects, make sure to subscribe and also check out some of the previous videos in the description. And so on that note, once someone actually figures out exactly what's happening here, or has some kind of a good explanation, we'll come back and talk more about this unusual new discovery. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining general membership, or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.